welcome back to the channel. So oh, this is the first time that I have turned my camera on since all of the things that are going on in the world have happened. I'm feeling a little rusty, so we're gonna start with something cool and casual. I got this idea from one of my Instagram followers. Um, by the way, I'll leave my Instagram linked somewhere here on screen. Please go follow me there. If you guys want even more of me than you already get, then find me on Instagram. So uh, her idea was for me to go through some of the designer resale sites and let you guys know what what I, in my professional opinion, is a good deal. So I thought this was a great idea. Let me know if you guys have any questions or if you guys have any other things that you see out there that you think are good deals. So I'm gonna share my screen with you guys. We're just gonna shop together and let's see how you like this. But we're gonna start with the new arrivals. That's where I like to start on the Fashion File website. So the new arrivals page for me is a place where you get the better selection but with the higher prices so that's just definitely something to take under consideration but yeah let's get started um, so first I see a Louis Vuitton favorite MM this, yeah, this is going for either one or two hundred dollars over the retail price and I've done videos on why people shop above retail I'll leave that linked down below if that is baffling to your mind as it wasn't as it once was to mine there's a reason for it and usually that is because of scarcity and demand so you know the favorite mm is a great bag it's really not my taste but i do think that this price point for a louis vuitton bag is um i i hate to say reasonable in this context but vibe with me here on this i am not diametrically opposed to shopping above retail but what i will say is if you're shopping above retail for something, ideally, I would like to be getting a brand new bag in return. There's definitely patina on the strap and there is chipping, um, chipping, tarnishing, and some scratches on the metal plate in front. So let's see what this comes with. So this comes with the strap and it's a bag from 2013. Um, no. Now for me, the year of manufacture isn't so, so important so long as you're getting something in great condition. And this is not great condition. Unfortunately, this one in very good condition going $200 over the retail price, I say not a good deal. And one point I do want to make about very good condition from Fashion File, most of everything that I buy from them is the very good condition. And when they say very good, just because it's the lowest one in the tier doesn't mean that it's like going to be in shitty, terrible condition. It actually is in really good condition, usually. I'm pretty sure that in their warehouse, they have a an area where they do clean and, and like um, re resurface, repolish, refurbish, refurbish bags that need, you know, a little bit of TLC. So very good condition for 200 over retail. Mm, I'm good. I am good on this bag. Oh, here we go. So now we have the this Damier Azure Eva Clutch. Um, see, this is a lot more my speed. Now the price, the price for the Eva Clutch is high, yes, but as we're looking, very little to no patina. The faceplate looks excellent. Um, what are they? Yeah, they're calling it excellent condition. And this one has a 2011 date stamp in it. Even though the price, once again, is a little bit high for this bag, there aren't many of these on the market. So we have our scarcity, we have our demand. Um, a lot of people do really, really like this bag a lot. And as far as popular Louis Vuitton bags go, um, $900 again is not an outrageous price to be expecting for a brand new small Louis Vuitton crossbody. So Louis Vuitton, Damiers, or Eva Clutch, it is not the greatest price, but I do think that this is a good buy even at this price. Does that make sense? Recommend! <laughs> now we have a couple more. I have a hat. Artsy. Ooh, ooh, check this out. This bag retails for about $2,000. This is one they did, that they do still make. It's another one that is very highly sought after. Not as high as like the Pochette Matisse and the Favorite, but you know, just the supply of monogram canvas is not um, particularly high at the moment. And this bag is a very popular canvas bag that a lot of people like. Um, it retails at $2,000 and this one we have going for $1,250. Now let's see, it's in very good condition. Um, it looks like, yeah, this, the interior, okay, so the interior has pen marks on the inside, and that's very normal for this bag. Since this bag is so highly sought after, 
Um, I know that in my own professional capacity, I've sold this bag in similar and worse conditions for, a, for much higher than this. So I approve. Okay, so next here, we're talking about one of my very favorite bags, I think ever, that I've just never bought and I don't know why. Hmm, I'm adding that to my list of bags that I've never bought. Hold please. This is a bag I have always loved and I have bought, almost bought so many different times. I don't know what has stopped me, but this is another one that I have been monitoring the price since 2014 and this is a bag underrated no one talks about it but it has maintained its price for more than five years now sorry what we're looking at is the gucci soho um i just refer to it as like the the flap shoulder bag or whatever like this one doesn't necessarily have a name unlike the gucci disco it has a tassel the tassel comes off very important um and we have this going for 7.95 the retail on this was 9.90 and this is a bag that is discontinued so i just think this bag is very classic and just that one little tidbit of knowledge that i know that it has maintained its resale value for five or six years is really really important to me in saying that this bag is a great buy I think it's a great size. I think that it will hold a lot. And I just think that it's just really classic. Um, so now let's see if this comes with the dust bag. I like it. And it comes with the tassel. And it's listed as excellent condition for $7.95. Now, of course, this isn't a huge difference from the retail price, but you do have to factor in that this is not a bag that is widely available. There may be a couple of them floating around the outlets here and there, but just generally speaking, this isn't one that they make anymore. So. This is a good buy. I like it. Now, I'm gonna go past the first page of Fashion File, otherwise we're gonna be sitting here forever. <gasps> Those hoop earrings, how beautiful. Okay. What do we think? Ooh. Okay, these are just cool. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna make any any indication on these Dior earrings about whether how good of a price it is or not because Dior, that costume jewelry isn't really my specialty. I don't come in contact with it that often, but this is just cool. Like, look at that. It has the canage print over the pearl the CD. I wonder how, like, how long are they? So two and a quarter inches long. I mean, that would be small for me, which is why I don't really partake in many designer earrings, except for the Fendi ones that I dream about, except for those. No commentary on this. I just want to show you guys because they're awesome. Okay. <sighs> I found my dream bag and I found my dream bag at a relatively great price. I am, I just bought myself a new handbag, so I am not shopping. This one goes to all of you. Hopefully it's still available by the time this video goes up. Um, we have the Chanel Caviar Quilted Jumbo Single Flap in black with silver hardware. So over the course of the five years that I've wanted this bag, I've watched the price increase. You used to be able to find these on the lowest, lowest end five years ago for like, 28 29 if you like stayed up until the crack of dawn on the internet which i did with all the price increases um from the last five years this is a bag that you are still able to find it in the threes i would say generally i was finding it in the low threes back then now you're finding them more in the high threes one thing about fashion file is that their prices do tend to skew a bit higher generally speaking as long as it's not egregious which some of them are and we'll we'll probably get into some of the egregiously priced things later in the video like you are paying for service you're paying for like the fashion file brand i would say usually it is worth it to spend a little bit more to buy something from, from fashion file usually not always maxi single flap in black caviar with silver hardware <sighs> although oh i'm an idiot no this is a jumbo okay we'll ignore most, some of that. The price is still good though. Sorry. Reading is fundamental. I was like, wait, why is the strap so low? Because it's a jumbo, duh. Okay, so taking that into account, jumbos do tend to be more expensive than maxis, and which explains why this is 38 and not more like 35, 36. I said, you know what? I'm leaving this in because I want you guys to know that there is a human being behind this operation. And that was a mistake. Next thing, here's another one that I own. The Givenchy Mini Antigona in black in the shiny calfskin, uh, $14.95. That is about 300 below retail. Eh, I would, 
time that one down a little bit. Ooh, 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 ooh. Excellent, excellent deal I'm looking at right here. Hermes Epsom Micro Revolve Bracelet. Okay, I love the micro bracelets from Hermes. I love them. This one retailed at 560, that sounds about right. And this one is going for 275. I think the color is fun. It looks like it has rose gold hardware. Excellent, excellent buy at 275. That's what they go for on eBay. Oh, 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 here we go. I spoke about this bag once. This is the, and we'll get to the on the go right here in a second, but I have spoken about this bag before. This is the Damier Ben Hoxton in the GM size. It sort of reminds me of the favorite, only huger. It's a little bit different, right? It's a little bit like quirky. It's like a quirky favorite, only bigger. So it's up my alley entirely. Again, 860 for a decent condition for like a decent crossbody Louis Vuitton bag. Also too, like if you look at the back of this here, you can convert it to a belt bag. My favorite. Excellent buy. Another excellent buy. Which by the way, if you're looking, if you're looking at this and saying and are saying like, how would I make this a belt bag? I will leave you that little tutorial guide that I did on how to make this a belt bag. Which by the way, I have another one that I put on my IGTV, which I will also link down below. So Hoxton at 860, I think. I think that's a good buy. I think that's a very, very good buy. Reverse monogram, giant on the go in the MM size. So the MM size is the new size. Thing to know about pricing, because as you see, this is $31.80 and you notice that they don't have the retail price um, here is $23.90. This one is here at $31.80, $790 difference. One thing to remember about this bag is that it is one or two seasons newer than the GM or the original size of this bag, therefore there are less of them on the market. An underrated, I think, reason why these go so hard above retail. This is listed as new condition. That is a plus. Um, it does come with its box and dust bag. Is it worth $800 more than retail? That is up to your individual, just individual, you know, choice as a person whose budget is not mine. Um, for me, no. Let me see. Yeah, I don't... You know what it is? Honestly, I like the larger size of this bag more, which has nothing to do with the price at all. So we're going to move on. I get a lot of comments from people um, saying that Fashion File is overpriced, things are crazy, they go, they sell for like double the retail price. All that is true. So the thing that you have to remember is that if you're looking for the thing that everyone wants at the same time that everyone wants it, you should be expecting to pay a higher price. That is a very simple supply and demand curve. I didn't finish college. I've never been educated formally on economics, but I do know that, you know, high demand yields higher price. I think that above retail exists for a reason, but we still need to keep pace with the market and if there is a market of people who are willing to spend double the price on a mini pochette, then I will eat my words. But I just really, it is my educated belief that that's not the case. So, sorry. So if you are shopping for the thing that everyone wants, then you're gonna be met with these prices. So the reason why I'm able to find good deals on things is because I shop around, try to find things that, that I like that are similar. So when you follow the trends, you get ridiculous overinflated prices. And I am not about that life, so I just buy what I like. Um, next. You know what? This is our opportunity to talk about Bottega again. The Maxi Intrechato? I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Yeah, I don't know why. I think definitely it's, it's probably more structured. Um, it might look like it could scratch somewhat, but for some reason, this larger woven pattern speaks to me a lot more than the normal size one does. I have nothing to justify that, so. And also too, $15.95, it looks like it retails at $22.50. I like it, I think it's a reasonable ask. It's an excellent condition. It's part of the like newer collection. Um, I say it's a go. I think it's cute. I think it's cute. 
and it comes with a little pouch in white, which white is kind of a dangerous color for this pouch. Oh, wait, wait, how, hold up. I'm looking at the inside of this and it actually uses those woven pieces from the inside as pockets. That's genius. I have revised my stance somewhat. I like it. I like it. And I'm also going to say the retail price is also reasonable. So you see, you see that? I said something nice about Bottega on the internet. <gasps> Do we remember what I was just talking about, about the Chanel Jumbo that I thought was a quilted caviar maxi in black with silver hardware? And look at that price! Ah! Okay, so 2720, yes, I don't care. I almost don't care what the condition is. Obviously, it looks like there's some warping and stuff happening with it, but all that can be serviced and repaired, etc. Um, this is one, I would jump on it. 2720, I have not seen this bag go for that much on a site like this in a long, long time. Okay, so I went back and looked at this Chanel um, maxi single flap and I really needed to inspect it again because the 2720 that it's going for, now that I think about it, there's just definitely a red flag. It's missing the serial uh, sticker on the inside. Now, I do want to make a very quick point about the fact that an authentic bag is an authentic bag whether it has the serial number or not, and a counterfeit is still a counterfeit if it has a serial number or it doesn't. It doesn't change the actual fact of the bag itself, and um, any authenticator worth paying your money to will be able to tell the difference. While missing serial numbers do definitely take some level of resale value out of the bag, there is still a market for them, but you just will see them priced accordingly. Okay, just for my, for my own personal collection, as long as I've loved this bag, I know that it would probably be a mainstay in my collection, so resale value wouldn't be as important as it may be to some others, but it's definitely something that needs to be considered and weighed uh, when you are making a purchase. So um, I can talk more about this in another video, but I just did want to add that, that this is also missing its serial number. So let me know what you guys think. Would you buy here. a Chanel bag that was missing the serial sticker completely, or would you leave it alone? Like, honestly, if I wouldn't have just bought myself a bag right now, I would buy this one singularly to refurbish it. As we can see, this is only the first page of the new arrivals. Um, I'm gonna scroll through it briefly just so you guys can see it and hold my commentary because we need to go to the discount section. So when shopping Fashion File, I like to either go by designer because I have my set of designers that I love um, off this list off the top of my head. I can think of Givenchy, Fendi, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, um, and I like Chloe too. So let's go to our 10% off. What do I see here that I like, that I have to have, or that is a great price? We're going to talk about Monogram Nano Speedy. Is it worth it to purchase this bag for $2,000? What does my face say? Okay, moving on. But I have to add that since it has been added to the 10% off, it is now $1,810. Um, oh, look at this. Okay, so this is a collection that we had in, uh, I had at work recently and well, it's similar to it. It's probably around that time frame, and one of my friends bought it, actually, and I'm so super glad that she did. But this is a metallic caviar quilted tote in dark silver with chain straps, and it looks like it's a good size. You know, it has some compartment action happening on the inside. I just happen to really love metallic caviar. I would love to have a metallic caviar bag. Look at that. Price. That price is $13.45. So for some reason, these types of bags vary almost 100% of the time go under $2,000, which isn't, there's not a lot of great stuff to be had for Chanel in the under $2,000 range. And I think that this is one of those outliers that just, they don't sell for very high. I just think this is cute. And especially at $13.45, like you really can't go wrong. Let's talk about this. This is interesting. It's cute. This is a studded Calfskin straw studded mini phone holder clutch in black. I just I dislike this a lot And I think that Again, we are one 
iPhone upgrade away from this thing being obsolete. The difference between this iPhone 6S and this iPhone 10 is, you know, the difference of being able to use this thing or not use this thing. Matter of fact, I'm curious to know, this is from 2014. In 2014, I want to say we were using the iPhone 4. This is probably suited for an iPhone 4. I don't know what the hell it would do for an iPhone 10. You know what? I'm going to go get my iPhone 4. Best likelihood, it was made for this phone. And now we're dealing with this phone. Five and a quarter. Yeah, yeah. Do I have my measuring tape? Five and a quarter. See that? It is exactly the size of the phone. With a case. Five and a quarter is perfect to fit this with a little bit of extra room. If any anyone who has $970 for a phone holder probably isn't using a phone from six years ago. This is the worst thing you can buy. Like, honestly, I would rather see some of you buy that Nano Speedy for $2,000 and see you buy this for $970. This, this I'm going to include on a future look for less. This is the Caviar East West Flap. Doesn't this look super similar to a, like, medium small classic? I think it does. I think it's a great workaround, and I also think that it goes for, like, half the price of the classics. Is it... You know, close to $2,000? Yes. But medium flat bag, they're trying to sell those for like, you know, 52 and 56 and stuff like that if they're in great condition. So I think all day long, it's worth it to try out the Caviar East West because it's close enough. And you know what? Yeah, maybe you can't double the chain, but so mm, cute. Okay. I've always been a very big fan of this bag. It's another one that's underrated that no one really talks about. The Chloe Mini Roy going for $320. The color is cute. It says it's in excellent to new condition. Retail was $12.50. I'm all about it because you know what? This sort of is the price point that I would want to pay for something in this color. I would really like to see that. I'd like to see the, the strap hooked onto those loops. Like I think that would be cool. Something small, relatively inexpensive, $320. It's a great crossbody and yeah, I like, I like this, and that is a great price for that bag. I've never Anything else? Multi-pochette selling 10% off for $29.95. Am I even going to click on this or no? I'm not. Okay, another one. This is a bag that I loved for a really long time. I finally gotten it out of my system, but I do still think it's beautiful. I'm talking about the Celine Trapeze. I have spoken about this bag for years. I know, but... Here we are. This is going for $675. I love this bag. I love this bag. I think it's amazing. This is the medium size. Um, it looks like it doesn't have any color transfer or anything. It looks like it's, it's in great condition. Now this retailed at for almost $3,000 when they were still making it and that's a shame that they're now selling for you know six and seven hundred dollars today but it's like that sometimes unfortunately and which is why we don't buy handbags as investments right guys when you buy the it bag of whenever ago you're met with better prices go figure go figure that's why i really like that being on trend has never been important to me because i get to enjoy better things at better prices i could do this all day long if we want to visit the idea of us doing this as a live stream, that could be fun. Um, let me know if uh, that's something you'd be interested in. But anyways, I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment if there's anything else you'd like to see. I'm really glad to be back. I don't know if I'm going to be filming anything else today, but I definitely will have some stuff in the pipeline. It took me sort of a while to um, get to a place where I was able to film, kind of, just because of everything that's going on. And um, I hope you guys are taking really good care of yourselves and staying safe. And I'll see you guys in my next one.